up guys in today's video i'm doing another amazon haul and i'm also going to include a mini sephora haul because i bought some stuff from sephora so why not show you guys what i got before we hop into it add me on instagram and i'll put my handle down below and hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and then also in the comments down below let me know what item you want to try or what item you liked and give the video a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up all right let's get into it guys so let's start off by talking about the soft boxes that i invested in one of the best investments i've gotten because without them this is what it looks like this is just the ring light itself so without the soft box lights on this is what it would look like i don't get good lighting in here to begin with so this is definitely i feel like it helps so it's a good self starter pack for lighting and i'm gonna link everything in the description box it comes with two soft boxes two 5500 kelvin light bulbs and then two stands and it comes with a duffel bag too as well so you can lug it around if you have other places the setup is super easy you can either adjust them vertically or horizontally if you're in the market to step up some filming and want the lighting to be better this is definitely the right soft boxes to invest on after having lash extensions for a year and then this whole lockdown happening so i wasn't able to go back and get a refill so instead i took these last few months to try to find something that would help make my lashes more stronger, grow, and get them back to a healthy, just healthy. And what I found on Google was castor oil. And this one's from Amazon, obviously. It's organic, 100% pure castor oil. This is really good. Also, it's versatile. You can use it for hair growth. So you just put some in your palm and then spread it through your scalp, or you can use it for skin problems good for eyelashes of course i highly recommend buying the pure castor oil this one was under ten dollars too so definitely a bargain comes with a little brush applicator for either your eyebrows or lashes and you just comb them in through your lashes or you could use some on your eyebrows the remaining that you have after you put on your eyelashes so and it does get kind of messy so i recommend you do that right before you go to bed and you do that it just is really nice it's just not in your way and i have noticed that with the castor oil it's helped my lashes get a little bit more thick and the lower lashes are starting to lengthen up and grow so it's definitely a product that i can say works okay so i've talked about trust products hair products for quite a while in a few of my videos this one is the trust conditioner i was on the market for a good conditioner and since i already like the trust products that i was using was it the mask and the heat protector i looked into the conditioner on the outside of the bottle it says it's good for hair reconstruction restores elasticity strengthens and softens and reduces frizz now this is true because my hair has improved vastly it used to be frizzy and just just wild and with this Adding this into my hair routine has helped tremendously. It is quite spendy. It's like $27, but I would actually rebuy this again. So that says a lot. So lately I've been working out a lot at home and I've noticed that my back is breaking out and it's really annoying because who wants back knee? Not me. I was able to find a body wash that would help. Dr. Song. It is pretty small but it really works. So I've been using this for a week now and I've noticed that I'm slowly, slowly certain breakouts are starting to go away and it's, we're, we're on the right track. It has 10% benzyl peroxide, which is really good for killing bacteria underneath your skin. I'm not a fan of the consistency. It's pretty watery and it doesn't foam up, which I'm a big foam person. Like I like anything that I use to foam but it doesn't so I mean I guess it's still doing what it needs to do but it's just know that the consistency is kind of very like watery very thin and it feels like you're not putting enough on but you are so just heads up on that and it retails at $21 so I mean pretty spendy but very worth it so I'm 
actually about to buy another bottle just to have as a backup in case I run out. Let's move on to electronics. This right here is such a great little speaker. So if you're looking for a good speaker, this is one to look into and it's from, I believe it's called Anchor. I don't know, it says it on the outside, but this is what it looks like. It's small, looks, it's small and it's handy and I love it because the sound is very crisp and you can hook up your, or Bluetooth your phone to it or even a monitor and hear whatever you want from it. And it's easy, it just has the volume on the top, plus or minus, the Bluetooth button and the um, power button and it, it's cute. And you just press the power button, the little blue light comes on and you are able to hear whatever you want. And it was only 30 bucks. Next on the list is this battery pack for your camera. So basically it comes with two batteries already. Pop those in, you plug it in, and then on the corner, the light will either turn green when it's charged or it'll stay red, meaning it's still charging. Every time I would film, my battery would die, and then I had to wait and recharge it, and it was just annoying. So I bought one of these. If the battery on this camera dies, I just pop in the charged one, and then I just continue filming. So this is pretty cool. Since I'm using the Sony 8 6000, it is compatible with that. So you would have to go on Amazon to see if it'll work for your actual camera. Next on the list is this battery bone charger. These lights right here tell you how many charges it has left. It comes with a little pouch. You can put it in your purse, your backpack. If you are out and about and you have nowhere to charge your phone, you just plug in your phone to the charger and within 30 minutes your phone will be charged. So if you don't have one, get one. All right, moving on to more like makeup stuff, I guess you could say. I finally invested in a makeup case and I bought it more because more for traveling, not that I'm traveling. It comes with, with these little shelving. You remove them and adjust it however wide or short you want it to be. On the other side, brushes we go in here. That's what it looks like, plain black, two zippies. $18 and I had seen this actually on I think it was like a makeup influencer on YouTube quite a few actually talked about this one I went online to find it and then it was sold out so it's been sold out for quite a while so I had a bookmark it and finally they had it back in stock so I just bought it I've been looking for really good mascara just because I don't have any of my lash extensions in right now so I really am looking for something to give me the volume and the length and so a friend recommended the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's like kind of in a pink tube. I really actually liked it. Like it's pretty good for $6. It doesn't give me as much volume as I wish it would. For a drugstore mascara, it's actually pretty decent. I'm a very big sunglasses person. I buy a bunch of them and I never actually wear them. I don't know why. I seen this style online on, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw an influencer wear it. These are the most cutest cat eye sunglasses look what they look like they come in a cute little sunglass case like this it was 13 dollars that's such a steal and they look like they're good quality like they look actually pretty bougie and pretty expensive last thing from my amazon haul is this really cute running belt and i bought this because i'm going to be running her jogging in a few weeks and I am tired of doing that and I'm holding my my phone in one hand and my keys in the other it's just really uncomfortable and I feel like I don't run well or jog well so I looked into this and it's cute because you can put your phone in here this little front, um, front pocket so this is very versatile moving on to the mini Sephora haul I'm I didn't really buy as much stuff from there just because it can be really expensive and I, yeah, I'm pretty cheap. But I was on the lookout for a good eyelash curler and good mascara. It's kind of, I've been kind of struggling just because it's really annoying that I don't have my lash extensions and I feel like it made life easier because I would just get up in the morning and just do my brows and basically be out 
on my way to work. Okay, so I looked through each eyelash curlers that they had and the one that I really liked was the Shiseido one. And I bought it just because there was good reviews on it too. Pretty standard. It has really curled them pretty good, but I don't know if it's just because it's new, so it's really doing its thing, but I've only tried it for this week. I also got the mascara from Marc Jacobs. And this one, I was kind of hesitant. I was gonna buy the full size one which was like 32 bucks. So instead I just bought the little travel mini size to see if I liked it. That's what it looks like. This doesn't clump at all. Cause I don't know, I have a thing with when mascara clumps. The box on the outside says, need some volume, epic lashes. Volume, yes, on this. I actually probably would buy this again. Like it was pretty good. I was pretty impressed with it. One thing that I recommend is instead of dropping the actual full price, paying it, is if you're unsure just buy the little the little size before you fully invest because the last thing you want to do is buy something full price and then hate it and then you have to go through and like return it it's just it's a hassle this was like 13 dollars so again with the the small size i got the nars concealer in custard the shade custard medium i really like the nars concealers just because they're so creamy it's easy to blend i don't know why i can't bring myself to buy the full size because it's just so expensive i think it's like 37 dollars for just a tube like the regular size tube of concealer so i just bought the little mini one because i'm being a cheap ass but this is a really good creamy concealer so they have all sorts of shades at the end of checkout you're able to add some samples and i added a, a dior little scent which i thought was cute because they come in like these little bottles so i got this one too like not fruity and not annoying this i liked a lot all right guys so that is the end of my amazon haul and sephora mini haul hopefully you saw something that you want to try or look into definitely recommend all the products that i showed you guys and i will see you on the next video